Let's create a better green screen effect. Go to Composition, New Composition. We're just going to choose NTSC widescreen, 10 seconds long. OK. Going to drag in a, a background here. You might want to press Control minus or Control plus to zoom in, zoom out. Going to drag in a green screen you find off the internet. And what's interesting about this is that we have multiple shades of green. This can be a problem unless you use color key first. Double click color key, use the eyedropper tool, and pick one shade of green. This is where you can drag up the tolerance here. And if you zoom in, it's a good idea, control plus, so that you see that we're not accidentally destroying away the, the actual subject. This is where you can double click color key again or go to edit, duplicate, or control D. As long as you select the color key first, control D is a fast way to duplicating this effect. Going to use the eyedropper tool and grab this shade of green and you can see that we cleaned it up pretty well. So you might have to use this color key effect multiple times and if you're having some problems, you might even consider using masking, but let's not worry about that. Let's now move on to the idea of the simple choker. I'm going to search for the word choker. Double click simple choker. And I'm going to scrub the valley to the left a little bit until we have a nice green glow. I'm going to search for the word key light. double click and I'm gonna use the eyedropper tool and click on the first uh, the green color right there and you can see it cleaned it up pretty well now some settings that you might want to play with is the screen gain you can just kind of scrub it and see where you don't want to overdo it just kind of scrub it until the green goes away you might want to play with some other settings as well, such as the screen mat. You might want to play with the clip black settings, which kind of makes the blacks show, the clip whites. It kind of fills in the uh, transparent areas, if you, depending on how you scrub it. And you might want to shrink and grow the, the edges as well. You can see it's melting it away. So I'm just going to leave it, leave it there. And finally, something else you might want to play with is the replace method. Move on from soft color to hard color. It might actually knock off some of the green reflection on your on your clothes. Excellent. So now you um, are able to create a better green screen effect.